The overall goal of this procedure is to mount a zebrafish embryo for long-term in vivo light sheet microscopy. This is accomplished by first cleaning a fluorinated ethylene propylene or FEP tube and coating it with methyl cellulose. Next, a zebrafish embryo of interest is decorionated. Then, the embryo is transferred first to melted agarose and then to the coated FEP tube. Finally, the bottom of the tube is closed with an agarose plug and the orientation of the mounted embryo is carefully checked. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the unperturbed development of zebrafish embryos over several days with high spatial and temporal resolution through in vivo light sheet microscopy. Well, the main advantage of existing techniques is that we can now observe zebrafish embryos over several days and not just a few hours. This method can provide valuable insights into the long-term embryogenesis of the zebrafish using light sheet microscopy. It can also be applied to other small organisms like uh, small marine organisms. It can also be used with other microscopy techniques such as optical projection tomography, wide field microscopy or confocal microscopy. Individuals new to this method might struggle because the protocol involves some time critical steps and judging the final position of the embryo requires some expertise. To prepare an FEP tube, 